Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Story, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A Las Vegas real estate broker in prison for driving drunk and causing a fatal crash in Summerlin in 2019 reaches another settlement with another victim injured in the wreck. Review Journal's Renee Semmerauer has the latest. Renee. Jen Scott Gregson reached a confidential agreement with Christopher Bentley, a passenger of Gregson's car, who suffered a traumatic brain injury in the May 2019 crash at the Ridges in Summerlin. Gregson had already reached a settlement with the family of 36-year-old Melissa Newton, who was killed in the crash. In that agreement, Gregson was expected to pay her family $21 million. He had also reached settlements with two other passengers. Police said in his arrest report that he sped through the neighborhood and then crashed into a row of trees. Before the crash, the guard at the gate said that he was verbally aggressive and smelled of alcohol. Gregson pleaded guilty to one count of DUI resulting in death and one count of DUI resulting in substantial bodily harm and is serving 8 to 20 years in prison. He is currently housed at Stewart Conservation Camp, a minimum security work camp located south of Carson City. Jen. In another update, police say a fight led up to the shooting that left a Home Depot employee injured in North Las Vegas last month. These two men allegedly did not scan all their items at the self-checkout register. When an employee approached them, a fight ensued, leading to the employee being pepper sprayed, then shot. Both men, Antoine Sconiers and Tyrell Sharp, were arrested in Texas and remain in custody. Plus, Governor Steve Sisolak plans to give an off-year State of the State address next week on Nevada's full recovery from COVID and how our state will spend the billions of federal pandemic assistance dollars. He's set to deliver his speech in Las Vegas on Wednesday, live stream only. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. There's a new place for movie lovers in downtown Las Vegas. <laughs> Mayor Carolyn Goodman helped open the new movie prop experience at the Neonopolis complex with a gallery of props from iconic films and TV shows. We're going to bring in, I do have Dorothy's dress from The Wizard of Oz. Yes. yes. Oh my God. Yes. We just have to get the proper case built with uh, all the alarms and Right. <laughs> everything that goes with it. Right. Other items include the filming puppets from Gremlins and props from the Harry Potter movies. In entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. Country superstar Keith Urban says he received a panicked call after Adele postponed her residency at Caesars Palace. Review Journal's John Katsimidis tells us what happened next. Country superstar Keith Urban was more than willing to fill in some dates left open by Adele when she postponed her residency at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. Those dates are March 25th and 26th and also April 1st and 2nd. Those were originally Adele's, but after Urban took a panic-stricken phone call, he was more than happy to play the Coliseum because he really loves playing the place and has been doing so since 2019. And two new dining options are coming to the North Las Vegas Strip. Resorts World announces acclaimed chef Tal Ronan will debut two restaurants. Crossroads Las Vegas will offer upscale dining for both vegans and meat lovers. Meanwhile, Crossroads Burger will offer house-made sausages and burgers in a more casual setting. Both are set to debut this spring. And pizza lovers, listen up. Five Las Vegas joints are featured on the top 100 best pizza places in the U.S. On Yelp's list is Marsigliano's Pizzeria, known for homemade Italian food. For those looking for a Neapolitan pizza, there is Satabello. Lucino's Pizza offers unique toppings and Sicilian-style pizza. Evil Pie is all about rock vibes and offers a vegan menu. And Old School Pizzeria boasts a unique sourdough pizza crust with clean ingredients. In Weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. We're looking at a clear and slightly cool night with temps in the 50s set to dip into the 40s overnight. On Friday, another sunny day with a high of 68 and low of 44 degrees. Come this weekend, time to get out and soak in some rays. Highs should hit the 70s again. 
Then on Monday, a cool down with some winds blowing through. By Tuesday and for the rest of the next work week, we see highs only reach the 50s. Sports brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. UNLV football's 2022 season schedule has been released and it includes a visit to Notre Dame on October 22nd. The Rebels will look to improve from a 2021 campaign where they finished 2-10 and under second-year head coach Marcus Arroyo. The 55th season of UNLV football kicks off on September 3rd when the Rebels welcome Idaho State to Allegiant Stadium. Conference play kicks off a few weeks later with a visit to Logan to take on Utah State on September 24th. The Rebels will close out the regular season with the battle for the Fremont Cannon game hosting UNR on November 26th. Sports betting sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. As the NBA approaches its all-star break this weekend, the Suns and Warriors are the consensus favorites to win the 2022 championship. Phoenix is the 4-1 favorite at the Westgate Superbook, and Golden State is the plus 450 second choice. At Circa Sports, the Warriors and Suns are virtual co-favorites, with Golden State at plus 434 to win it all, and Phoenix at plus 436. In Health, a multi-million dollar federal grant to study brain diseases. UNLV and the Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health received an $11.3 million COBRA grant from the National Institutes of Health to study Alzheimer's and other diseases. The research continues to focus on the causes of degenerative brain diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, about which much remains a mystery. Researchers say they plan to expand the diversity of participating patients. And lifestyle, who knew a vending machine could make such a difference? Meet the Giving Machine in Summerlin, which dispensed more than half a million dollars to seven nonprofits. Uh, for our organization, this means that people get to eat. People get to have dignified access to food, which is what every one of our neighbors deserves here in Southern Nevada. The local nonprofits that receive the donations are on your screen there. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.